people live their life in that mold of not actually ever interacting, not actually ever communicating for real. Mm -hmm. And then I'm asking them to communicate for real and they actually don't know how to do it. Like literally people don't know how to communicate for real. Yeah. And that is like, fuck, what, what's going on in society? Mm. Like, how can, you, how can you ask someone how they are and actually not, not, not give a shit, but expect to just hear, yeah, I'm good. Mm. And then move on with your life. Like, <laughs> uh, what? Yeah. Where is the actual sort of, yeah, connection and communication gone? So, do you think yeah. it was ever different? Um, I mean, like 50, 60 years ago, do you think people. Not 50, were... 60 years ago, no. I just, I think obviously with, with how much we've sort of like grown as a species and we're like, yeah, I, th I, th I read something about we we operate best in communities of around 85, I think. I think that's where, like, that's what feels comfortable for human beings and anything past that is just like an overload of information, which is why we go through being like, how are you and not actually doing it? Because there's only so much fucking like connection we can take. But I guess way back, way back when we lived in little communities and little villages, then it probably would have been more time mm -hmm. because you would have had an actual interest in, yeah. in those people. So yeah, it was probably different then, mm -hmm. but it's probably not been like that for fucking, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a big fucking historian, to be honest. So I don't know about. <laughs> but it's still like shit. it's weird. Like if you think about like so, society is this way right now, and we as actors should represent the society as it is right now. But at the same time, we still have to break through this barrier of like of communication that kind of still go deeper than you would usually see between two people like in real life. But on, yeah. on screen or like on on stage, we kind of we need this connection that is almost more like unrealistic in comparison to real society. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and again, that's another little hurdle as well of like, you know, sometimes we'll do a scene, you know, say we do a scene and it's between two policemen um, or a couple of nurses or whatever, you know. Um, you then have to factor in what you've just said then, like when people go to work, they very much go to work in a work mode. So mm -hmm. like two people who are, are on the job, they're not necessarily going to be having this like more deep, like intimate connection and conversation. Like mm -hmm. they're at work. So it's, it's a bit more surface level and it's a bit more guarded. Mm -hmm. So then as an actor, you have to incorporate that as well. Yeah. So that's another dimension that you've got to sort of incorporate. So yeah, I want you to talk and listen for real. But also not be that interested because you're, you know, you're, you're in, you're in policeman mode or whatever. But also yeah. don't play policeman mode because yeah, then we yeah. don't, then we just see an actor being I'm a policeman. Hello. Um, <laughs> Which sometimes maybe that's what's needed because like if yeah. you're a pizza, you're a pizza delivery guy, like you just, you just came in, brought a pizza, took money, fucked up. That's it.